Today I'm going to show you how to make some really simple toilet bowl fizzies that will get your toilet bowl clean and make your bathroom smell great. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out with two cups of baking soda. This is a really simple recipe. It only has four ingredients. There's two cups of baking soda. And now we're going to put in a half a cup of citric acid. This is what's going to make them fizz when you drop them in the toilet. And the baking soda is, it has action, scouring action, so it'll help get your toilet clean when you use your toilet brush. So we're going to mix this together real good. Break up any clumps that are in here. Alright, so there we go. We've got it all mixed up. Now the other two ingredients are water and essential oil. So, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of water in our small bowl here. Actually, we're going to put in about three tablespoons. I'm just winging this as I go along, as you can see. Alright, and then we're going to put in 30 drops of lemon essential oil. Now, this is the essential oil that we sell in our shop. And it's going to make your bathroom smell really great. So we're going to mix that into the water. There we go. we got 30 drops. And we're going to stir that real good. The oils and water don't mix real well, but... It's all going to be going into this anyway, so there we go. Now we're going to slowly, very slowly, add this to our mixture. We don't want to get it started fizzing. And what we're trying to do is get this mixture to about the consistency of wet sand. And it may fizz on you a little bit, that's okay. Just keep mixing it, and it'll stop fizzing. And we're almost there. It's pretty close. That's almost got it. So by the time we add the rest of our water here, we should be in our essential oils. And this smells great. It's got that good lemon scent to it. And you don't want to get it too wet. Because if you do, it's going to just fizz up and it's going to make a volcano all over your nice clean counter. So we're going to add the rest of our water here. We're almost there. We don't want to waste this great smelling essential oil. And now this is the really easy part. You're just going to take these and you're going to put them into ice trays. And as you can see, depending on the size of your ice tray, you're going to be pretty close to making a full tray full. And these don't have to be pretty, obviously, because you're just going to be dropping them in the toilet bowl. We're going to mash them down to make sure they're good in there, and then we're going to let them dry. And there you have it. So these are going to be our toilet fizzies. Now what I like to do to keep the essential oils from evaporating away is I just bought some of these oven bags and I just slide it in the oven bag, fold the end over, And that'll keep your lemon essential oil from evaporating away while these things dry. So we're going to set them aside for a few hours and then we'll go in, drop one in the toilet, and show you how to clean your toilets. Okay, so we're back and our toilet bowl fizzies have dried and we're going to take them out and we're going to put them in containers and get them ready for use. 
So the great thing about these bags is you can take these things out and you don't make a mess. You can just turn this over inside the bag. And they fall right out. And then we're just going to put them in these bags. You don't want to just drop them in there because the edges are a little crumbly. So, there you go. And we just, what we'll do is we'll just store these underneath the sink because they're in clear plastic containers and we don't want, especially if you have a window with sun coming in, you don't want direct sunlight on these. So what I do is just put them underneath the counter and then just pull them out when I want to use one. So we're going to save these last two for our test and we're going to go put those in the toilet and we'll show you how they work. Okay guys, we're ready to do our test now. So um, as you can see, I've let the guest bathroom toilet get a little bit grungy so that we could actually do a real world test here. Doesn't do any good to drop these into a totally clean toilet. Won't really show you anything. So here are our toilet fizzies. We're going to drop these in. And we're going to let that do its work. And the other thing I like to do is I've got a bottle of hydrogen peroxide here. And what I hydrogen peroxide is a bleaching agent. So what I like to do is spray around the inside of the toilet. And let that soak in. those fizz in there for a while and then we'll clean the toilet and see how these things work so we'll let them fizz for a while and then we'll get back okay so there you have it after a little bit of mild brushing the toilet's clean the baking soda has a mild abrasive action so it helps take off the stains and everything and the um, hydrogen peroxide has a mild bleaching action too so it helps take off the stains so there you go and the bathroom has a wonderful lemon fresh scent that'll last for a while so makes your house smell wonderful makes the bathroom smell clean and fresh so there you go easy do-it-yourself homemade toilet fizzies thanks for watching